I love Nathan Oakley. Yeah, me too. He demolishes Absolute. people. Nathan Oakley, 1980. Follow his... Again, Nathan, what I'm saying is that the, the statements, the collection of the set of statements that you've now identif correctly identified to be contradictory to each other. No. Well, they both can't be correct. <laughs> I'm not willing to. Sorry, you honestly. understand the contradiction that they both can't be correct. You've said that they're not accurate representations. So which one's incorrect? Correct. I'm not willing to explain that to you. Okay, no worries. I've explained no that. worries. Well, I will explain to my audience that we have Neil deGrasse Tyson, who says Earth turns underneath a football, and we have... Blue Marble Science, who says we're not on a roundabout. Earth moves along with the atmosphere and the hot air balloon. We understand some of the people who come here can't explain the glaring contradictions the globe has. And that's unfortunate because that's what we want. Only murder's the only planet capable of sustaining life. And it doesn't even have to be Neil deGrasse Tyson. Why, why haven't any of these guys come out and 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 said, "Listen, well, well, we need to nip this in the bud." I mean, there is tons of people addressing this the statements from people like you, right? Yeah, show me, show me one. Either yeah, between, there's also people doing that. Well, who Either just between that? something well, like who that. We're just talking. Where's where's you sound like you got some uh, proof or evidence that you that that, that you stumbled well, across? No, well. What I hear you saying is that the concerns not just have not just to be acknowledged, but also addressed. They have to be worked on. I mean, there's still a disagreement, like uh, we're disagreeing on the con results you're getting or the conclusions you draw from it, obviously, because, you know, neighbor of the side disappeared as a, as a side or, of a debate. So as Tyson doesn't seem to agree that the atmosphere spins with the earth. This is the kind of point that we would like addressed. You were cutting out for me uh, most of the time, so... He's pointing out that there's a contradiction from what we have argued here and what the globe rhetoric states. The globe rhetoric states Earth turns beneath to cause a ball to seem to drift through a goal. The effect is induced by Earth turning underneath the ball. And that is a globe claim. We simultaneously have anti-flat Earthers come here and tell us that Earth and atmosphere move as one. When gas is unbonded, we can debunk that crap in a heartbeat. But that is what they claim. So those, those, those two things are mutually exclusive of one another. They cannot coexist. It would be a contradiction in terms to have them both coexist. And we're hoping that that can be addressed. That's what Elijah's asking. Mm -hmm. You understand both those statements have come from your side, right? So what I'm saying is um, that the fact that this conversation happens in the first place is that um the things that are said in this community for example on this uh, on, on debate show or something um are addressed like there is a conversation about it and elijah was asking why it, there is no conversation about it well i i kind of disagree on the on the presupposition uh, on the position that there is no conversation about this. The question that's being put to you is, is not about whether or not it's being discussed. It's about the contradiction in terms that is Earth and atmosphere moving as one and Earth turning beneath a football. Both have come from your well, you side. You have wind, you have very you, um, Earth and atmosphere, even if they are, like, even if the Earth is a globe and it's rotating, then the atmosphere can move relative to Earth. We have wind. Sorry, th thank you for summarizing the anti-flat earth position in this regard i'll just explain the problem again because instead of understanding and appreciating the problem that you're faced with you've just summarized one of the two positions i've already summarized so yes that is one of the positions that earth and atmosphere oh. yes you don't need to interrupt clearly even maybe you have understood the problem and feel it's now need to interrupt me yeah maybe i'll try again so there's two positions that are mutually exclusive one the earth turns under a ball the other as you have just stated and i will now repeat earth and atmosphere move together mutually exclusive positions not from me i don't assert either of those both from your side globe believing what sides. i said was that the wind wind that the fact that we have wind means that uh 
air can move relative to the ground. Move relative to, which means not move the same. Okay. Doesn't overcome the problem of yeah. the contradiction what between... What I was saying. Oh, my bad. And it seems like you were misunderstanding what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, we, we're not really addressing any new claims about what the wind does. We're talking about a deflection known as Coriolis effect, where Earth would turn underneath a football. Now, that's the globe assertion. I'll try and summarise it again. It may or may not get interrupted. Simultaneously, alongside a claim that Earth turns beneath footballs and bullets, is a claim that Earth doesn't turn beneath footballs and bullets because the atmosphere moves with the Earth that's spinning. Those two things cannot both be true. Only one can be true. And both of those claims come from the globe side of this argument. Do you understand the no. problem yet? Yeah, I understand the problem that you're describing, but it's not a true representation of the logical consequences of Earth being a globe and rotating. There's no single problem to be addressed in this contradiction in terms that can't both be true simultaneously. Again, Nathan, what I'm saying is that the the statements, the collection of the set of statements that you've now identif correctly identified to be contradictory to each other, right? They are not uh, the correct implications that Earth being a uh, being a globe that rotates are uh, has. One of those statements is not correctly understood. It's okay. not a correct understanding. You're going to now detail which one's incorrect. No. Well, they both can't be correct. <laughs> I'm not willing to. Sorry, honestly. you understand the contradiction that they both can't be correct. You've said that they're not accurate representations. So which one's incorrect? Correct. I'm not willing to explain that to you. Okay, no worries. I've explained no that. worries. Well, I will explain to my audience that we have Neil deGrasse Tyson, who says Earth turns underneath a football, and we have Blue Marble Science, who says we're not on a roundabout. Earth moves along with the atmosphere and the hot air balloon. Those two things are mutually exclusive of one another and in complete contradiction of one another. Now, obviously, you can't cope with justifying a contradiction between what Neil deGrasse Tyson says and what Blue Marble says. Now, if that's beyond your limited scope of capability, then obviously we need to talk to somebody else about this, don't we? Nathan, I'm not I'm not trying to uh, justify the contradiction that you... All right, well, we need somebody to justify this contradiction where you claim both Earth turns underneath a football and Earth doesn't turn underneath a hot air balloon because atmosphere moves with Earth, contradicting the claim that it would turn under a football. Now, I know you can't do that. It's beyond your limited capabilities. That's fine. We understand some of the people who come here can't explain the glaring contradictions the globe has. And that's unfortunate because that's what we want. OK, Nathan, what I've said is that this collection of statements that you are presenting, the contradiction that you're presenting, is not derived from an accurate representation. Or, or... Yeah, we heard that. That's a repetition. So what? which bit's wrong then? I'm not willing to explain it. Oh, right. Well, it's just a baseless wow. assertion then, isn't it, you dick? So you're just going to hand wave it and say baseless assertion one of your claims is incorrect even though one is a blue marble claim and one is a Neil deGrasse Tyson claim. Neither are mine but you're not willing to correct your own side who are in contradiction with each other. Yeah, well, what a shock. No, no, no. I'm not correcting my own... Uh, uh, um, I... Oh, so Neil deGrasse Tyson's not on your side, blue marble's not on your side. No, you're wrong. They're both on your side. They're just the ones in contradiction with one another. Nathan, those are not my... Yeah, they are on your side and yes, they are contradictory positions that they have made. Now, you may not like that or be able to justify it, but that is the case. Nathan, you the, the, just because I'm uh, entertaining a thought does not mean I support it. Okay? Which, so this, which, which what one? I'm Do saying you, does which not one don't you support? my position. Well, okay? Can't you take a stand either way? So, Nathan, what I'm oh, saying is that I've tried to explain... I'm, I'm not... Uh, what you're saying is not um, an accurate representation of the position that yeah. you're uh, uh, that that you're saying has a contradiction. Which part? Is we just and third attempt. Third attempt. To while Google you. Rumpuses. And what third I'm attempt. saying is, third attempt. I'm not willing third to attempt. Uh, yes, you've said that. I heard I'm, the first two times. What I'm saying so, is, into I'm chaos. not willing to correct. So you. you're just going to keep talking through me? You heard it three times. Which you're, part? You're talking through. Yeah, yeah. Which part? And you won't tell me, right? Again. The entire understanding that you're implying. 
Sorry, don't tell me about what I'm implying. Tell me which bit you don't agree with or is wrong. It's very simple. You keep talking to me, dude. Can you please let me... What, waffle on with the same th repetition for the fourth time that doesn't address which bit you think is wrong? And when I've asked you to justify which bit is wrong, you say you won't. Yes, I won't explain. Well, then fuck off. Go away, you stupid dick. You're just yeah. wasting our time. I'm going to stick you on mute and kick you out then. Because if you're not willing to justify this contradiction in terms laid down by Blue Marble and NDT, then you are effectively useless to us. You're going, well, fundamentally, the bit you've described is wrong, but I'm not going to tell you which part of it. Then you are effectively useless and a wanker. So you're just wrong. I'm just not going to tell you why. So you, that, you wish to add That's right up there with the definitions of words are meaningless. That, that makes you sound like a clown and mass, though. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? How I sound is irrelevant. Well, you're the one that's in this discussion, and you're telling me that you are wrong, Nathan, but I'm not going to tell you why or how. Correct, Nathan's. Well, then get lost. If you're just going to come here and tell me I'm wrong, well, then you're useless, aren't you? In the past, and he has shut me down on every turn. Nobody gives a shit. Sorry, now he's claiming I'm shutting him down. I've given him every opportunity to tell me how my summary of Blue Marble and NDT position is wrong. He just won't do it. He said, no, I'm not going to do that. But I'm shutting yes, you down. Because, because it has been fruitless in the past. Sorry, so I'm shutting you down when you're actually saying it's fruitless to try. But that's me shutting you down, is it, you lying piece of shit? No, not... So it's not me shutting you down. You're just a scumbag liar who's going to claim I'm shutting you down when, in fact, you believe it's a fruitless task and you won't do it. So this contradiction, let's focus on that rather than the wanker who won't justify his position and just with a hand wave says I'm wrong and won't tell me why. I'll focus on the fact that Neil deGrasse Tyson says Earth turns under a football to cause apparent deflection from the stand to see it cause a curve in the path of the ball as you watch it. That's Coriolis effect claimed by Neil deGrasse Tyson. I am accurate in that description. That is what he claims. It is the globe claim of Coriolis. 15 degrees an hour drift as Earth turns beneath. That's Coriolis claimed by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Very specifically detailed by me now in summary. There is also a simultaneous contradictory position put by Blue Marble Science where he says, I'm an idiot. Nathan Oakley's an idiot. Why would you expect to Earth to turn under a hot air balloon? Earth isn't a roundabout, Nathan, is what he told me. So we've got two positions. Earth and atmosphere move together. According to Blue Marble, he specifically stated that. And Earth and atmosphere are separate to cause drift in a football. Mutually exclusive positions that cannot both be true at the same time. Now, I get that you just say I'm wrong and you won't tell me why, but that means you're useless and no longer worthy of discussion in this regard. That's the error Can around the falls, football move with the football. This falls into the category you and your reference frames are ruined. Precisely, Arwin. At the point where it needs to be the case that I'm making a claim that Earth should turn beneath, you can then argue against me claiming Earth turns beneath when it's not my claim. In this case, we've got Neil deGrasse Tyson's claim that Earth turns beneath a football, or the sniper's rifle manual, where it says Earth turns beneath bullets when you fire at a long distance. That's Earth turning beneath. We've also got Blue Marble, who very specifically says Earth and atmosphere move together, negating the effect of Earth turning beneath a hot air balloon precisely in contradiction of Neil deGrasse Tyson, akin to a, uh, an idiot known as Simon Dan saying, well, you and your reference frames are ruined. Not me and my reference frames, Dan. Neil deGrasse Tyson and his reference frames utilised to claim Earth turned under a ball are ruined. So, Nathan, you've just demonstrated how you're shutting people down, right? Because you've talked... Shut the I'm going to kick him out. Bye-bye. More baby. Bye-bye, wanker. So how am I shutting down now? What I do now do to shut people down is stick him on mute, stick him on deafen, so he can no longer take part in the conversation. That's me shutting you down. That's me shutting you down. Not me asking you to justify why I'm wrong. You saying you won't do it because it's proving ruthless on past occasions. Therefore, I'm not going to give you a justification for my hand wave dismissal. Actually, that's you shutting me down. Because really, my saying it's fruitless to give any sort of justification for my hand wave dismissal is actually you stopping me giving a really close, concise and coherent explanation for how this isn't a contradiction. No, 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 no. Just a wanker who wants to project his lack of demolishment of my argument by saying I'm shutting him down. No, wanker, that's when I actually do shut you down and kick you out. Come back another day when you don't want to project your nonsense and fail you to actually have an argument and project that as me shutting you down. No, mate. 
Do you think you're fooling yeah. anybody, Edmasto? No, Edmasto? I've actually shut him down now. I've stuck him on server mute and deafen so he doesn't get to take part anymore. What he means is, while I'm fundy muting the crap out of your concise summary of how Neil deGrasse Tyson and Blue Marble are in contradiction, I'm desperately trying to talk through every word of that, and I'm not getting to, therefore you're shutting my fundy muting down. And I'm going to moan about how the fact I'm not getting to talk straight through you. Like, that's reasonable when you've had a discussion, asked to justify your position, refused to do it, and then you've been cut out of the conversation and not allowed to, to fundy mute the crap out of the summary. Yeah, oh, of course, that's me shutting him down. 